Welcome back to this week's Korean Indie Playlist, where we talk about what's new and awesome in Korean Indie music. Make sure you click here for Playlist Mode! Okay, we're trying out something new today, which we talk about all three songs in one video, followed up by the three music videos. So prepare for something new, and prepare for the return of Crying Nut with their newest song, Give Me The Money! Okay, I'm pretty sure the last album they released was like their sixth album or so back in 2009, so it's pretty awesome to see them continuing to make music. Now this song might upset some diehard punk rock fans of Crying Nut because the song has a more upbeat pop punk feel to it than we're used to seeing from Crying Nut. Think like Sum 41, Blink-182, Good Charlotte kind of vibe to it, but I'm not complaining at all. Crying Nut has always been a fun band with like awesome energy and crazy videos, so I'm not surprised that they want to make such an awesomely fun summary song. I mean, they put a freaking ukulele in the song. A ukulele Lately, and they still managed to have a chorus that was heavy and rocking. This would be an amazing set to see live. I can imagine everyone like jumping in union for the heavy chorus. Perhaps even some gentle moshing would occur, but there would definitely be lots of arm waving. I really love this song, and I'm not normally a fan of like spoken word type lyrics, but this time it doesn't bother me. I feel like it's the perfect summer driving song. It's like the K-Indie driving song of the year. All right, let's change it up. We're going from punk to electronica. So I guess technically this is more electronica rock because this is an entire band like a drummer, guitarist, bassist, and multiple keyboards and they have a pretty heavy sound to them. It's Litter and their song is called Breakers. I know you. Oh, I know you. I don't know you. Okay, freaking awesome. I cannot believe I haven't heard these guys sooner. They kind of remind me of Glenn Check, but the lead singer of Litter has a lot rougher of a voice. Like, Glenn Check has a more smooth, loungy voice, but this guy could easily be the lead singer of a rock band, which I suppose this kind of is, except it has a lot more use of synth. What I really like is that they have amazing energy. A lot of Korean bands we see just kind of like sing and sway, but this guy's freaking like solo moshing with himself and really into the song. And the drummer's all like head banging, and I checked out some of their live sets, and they're also really good live, like they sound the same. And there's all like power grooving on the keyboard, like the fingers are playing Dance Dance Revolution. And then there's the keyboard smashing scene. It's like homage to metal bands bashing their guitars angrily on the ground, but with the keyboard, so hipstery. And I just hope they didn't smash it and we're all like, oh sh that's our only good keyboard. Oh God, my mom's gonna kill me. Listen, I've been playing this song like crazy and everyone in the studio loves it. So you are going to love this song. Please make sure you check it out after we are finished. Simon, begin. Last up is a request for EU Rims Call My Name. For starters, thank you Will Smith for the request. Yes, the request is from Will Smith. Don't believe me? Check his video out at the end of this playlist if you don't believe that Will Smith watches Eat Your Kimchi. Will freaking Smith! Anyhow, Will Smith has some awesome taste in music and I'm totally glad he brought the song to our attention. I've never heard of Eeyo Rim before and hell, if she keeps on putting out music like this, I'll murder anyone for the title of her greatest fan. Don't think I can't do it. I'm a lot stronger than I look. I'm actually really surprised by the song. I haven't really heard anything like this and it's really hard for me to classify. At first, it sounds a bit Disney-ish and it kind of reminds me a bit of the feel of an IU song, but the vocals are very layered and so it kind of pulls me away from thinking of IU. But then the chorus kicks in and the song takes a totally different twist that still really fits with the rest of the song concept, except now it sounds more like video game music. I could definitely say it sounds like a pop song, but it's so really, really original sounding that I'm as intrigued by it as I am impressed. It is really well done. There are a couple unfortunate English parts in there that take me out of the moment from time to time, but otherwise, I'm really impressed by the song. I think you're gonna like it. Let me know what you think. Now you can check out any of the three songs that we talked about today by clicking on any of them below right here or by just staying in playlist mode, which you probably should be in to begin with. We also linked to the videos in the info box, so check those out if you don't have your annotations on mobile viewers. We're judging you. If there's a video you think we should talk about or just something cool that you'd like to introduce to us, please send us a video response. You can click on the comment section to leave a comment and you see the little video response option. Hopefully we can talk about your awesome video next week. And please send us a request because lately we're getting lots of requests but three or four people will request pretty much the same song and artist so we need more choices. We can only choose one. Can we choose Will Smith getting jiggy with it? Na 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 oh, na 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 This makes you so uncomfortable. Uh, uh. Uh.